we are <clears throat> looking at problem one in your on your chapter nine quiz right here, uh, where we're calculating all the marginal cost of capital breakpoints uh, with the following information. So we have to total assets, to total debt, total equity, and cost of debt is 10% up to 500,000. So that's the limit for a debt, and the cost of common stock is 13%. Up to 100,000. So 100,000 is the limit for cost of common equity. Now understand that these percentages are not going to be used in the formula. This is just telling you what the the, the, uh, the cost change is uh, after each of the limits. Because we're going to use this formula right here, and the only thing we, we need is the limit and the proportion of uh, total to figure this out. So. In order to get the proportion of a total, uh, and that's something that uh, you may have been confused on because in your homework or, or in the quiz uh, spreadsheet that you have, I didn't have these two cells shaded in. So you may have not realized that there was a formula here that just divides the uh, that just divides the uh, total equity and the total debt by a total assets right here in order to get a, a percentage. So that may have confused you. So let's go ahead and just put in our total assets right here, which is 1,500,000 in order to get our actual per percentages or proportions, 1,500,000. And then total equity is, whoops, Wrong thing here. Total equity is uh, 900,000 and total debt is 600,000. Okay, so total equity, 900,000 and total debt is 600,000. And that's going to give us our proportion or percentages. And then we just need to put in our dollar amount limit for equity. Which is 100,000 and the debt limit is 500,000. Okay, so equity is 100,000 and our equity is 500,000. Okay, or, or, or debt, I mean, debt, equity, equity, debt. I, I keep saying that backwards. This is debt, 500,000. Okay, wow. All right, so our debt breakpoint should be. Uh, 1250000 and our equity break point, 166667 Right. Now, <clears throat> what this is telling you, just real real quick, is is that you want to always maintain your, your capital structure or, or, or your proportion of, uh, of equity to a debt of 60-40 here, right? Uh, Uh, yeah, so if we're going to, or if we're going to borrow, like if we're looking at our debt breakpoint, it's a lot higher. So if, if, if we need to borrow more than uh, 1250000 or if our total capital structure, if, if we're going to go over this limit, if we have a project that costs more than this that we're going to finance with, with both debt and equity, then we're going to need to borrow more than 500000 because in order to, to maintain this 40%, because 500000 is 40% of uh, 1250000 So if we go over this in total, if our projects or projects, project or projects are going to cost more than this, then we're going to have to borrow more in order to, to maintain 40% and that's going to be at a higher cost. It's going to be at a higher cost. We, it goes up from 10% to 11. And the same is true for our uh, for our uh, common stock. If our total, and this is a lot lower, if our total is going to be over, uh, if we do a project that's going to be over $166,667, then we're going to need to issue new stock uh, after the 100,000, and that new stock is going to be more more expensive. So the cost of the uh, new stock goes up one percentage point, and that is mostly due or all due to the flotation cost of issuing new 
stock, and we'll see that in uh, one of our other problems. Okay, so that's um, problem one on your quiz.